Nice to see you. Hey, what are we going to do? A magic trick for all the boys and girls. Would you like to see a magic trick? Yeah! Right, well, here's a trick with two glasses. First of all, we've got a very large glass. There we are. That's a pint glass. We've also got a tiny little glass over here, which is... Uh... Just a minute. What it... What's it doing on your head? Just give it a good pull. Go on. Pull. You all right? Jolly good. And we've got a little tiny glass here, and inside the glass are four coins. There we are. We can count them. Count them with me. There we go. One... Two, three, four. four. That's jolly good. We've also got a little, a little. That's enough. We've got a little stand that we're going to put the. Don't... Look, put it. Ow! <laughs> you keep doing that. We're going to put the four coins on the stand. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Right. Now I'm going to put the big glass. Upside down on top of the little glass, so the coins can't get in through the top. I'm going to hold this, and Sooty's going to throw these coins so hard that they go right through the big glass and into the little glass. If you watch very, very carefully, you may see them go in, so watch very carefully. Right, Sooty, let's try the first coin. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, throw it! Did you see it go in? Did you? Let's try another one, shall we, Sooty? That's it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, in it goes! Did you see that one go in? You did see it going. Well, I'm very pleased about it. This time, Sooty, why don't you throw it right up in the air and make it come down from up, right up in the ceiling? OK, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. And down it comes. How about that? Well done, Sooty. Hey, look, this time, why don't you make it go right round the audience, OK? Right round the audience. You watch out for it, because here it comes. Ready? One, two, three. There it is. It's going up the right-hand side. <laughs> Across the back by all the mums and dads. There they are giggling. Down this side, here it comes. It's coming, it's coming, it's co... Must have got lost. Oh! <laughs> it was there all the time. Let's see if it's worked, shall we? Let's see if it's worked. Take that off there. Here we go. You can count out the coins with sooty if you like. Ready? One, two, three, four. Well done. Give them a clap for doing that. Very good. Well done, sooty. Hey, what are we going to do now? Are we really? We're going to see the next episode of our adventure film, and it's called The Case of the Black Hand. <laughs> the Black Hand has left our ace detectives holding a bowl of splatting spaghetti. This bowl of spaghetti will go splat in 30 seconds. Signed, <laughs> the Black Hand. Come on, boys. The timing device. So you must have used it. Quickly. There's only 15 seconds left. As the seconds tick by, we ask the question, can Sooty and Sweep untangle this fatal food? Will the spaghetti go splat? Show up, Sooty. Cut the rubber band. Try that. Cut the rubber band. <laughs> Funny. Hysterical. The black hand wins again. <laughs> black hand six. Sooty nil. <laughs> now watch this week's exciting episode. The terrible trap. <laughs> You know, Sherlock Sooty, I'm fed up of being caught in this black hand's traps, you know. But if I see your traps, I certainly would. <laughs> Listen to me know. I can hear every word they say. <laughs> what do we see first? Throw the first switch. All right, go on then, throw the first switch. A tripwire! <laughs> and a bowl of soot. That should teach him a lesson. A tripwire and a basin of soot. What a terrible trap. 
Ugh. Deactivate the first switch, Sooty. And what's next? Watch the front door. All right, throw the switch. Look at that! A boxing glove on the end of a spring! That'll set his head in a spin. A spring-loaded boxing glove. <laughs> worse and worse! <laughs> and what do we see now? Watch the upstairs window. All right, throw switch number three. A big bucket of water on the end of a pole! That should cool him off. What a smashing idea. A big bucket of water. <laughs> I must do something quickly. Ah. I'll fool them, because I am a master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's this? This is my alarm buzzer. Oh, I see. I go out in the garden, and I watch the, for the black hand, and when I press this, you operate the switches, right? Yeah. Jolly good. You stay here, then. I'll go out into the garden. I'll hide down here behind these bushes. Help! Help! Over here! Over here! What's that? Do assist me! Oh, Help. poor old lady! Hang Help. on a minute! Help! Help. Uh. You poor old lady! Oh, oh this is terrible! Oh. Falling off a bicycle! Just hang on a minute! <laughs> oh, oh, let me give you a hand up. Oh, young man. Oh, thank oh. you very much. I'm most grateful. Are I, you all right? I really am. May I say thank you yes, of very course much? You can. Of course now, you can. if you'd help me on to my velocity, yes. I shall be off. Oh, Tally ho! Be careful! And they never recognize me! <laughs> Poor old lady. Hope she's all right. Because... <laughs> a black hand! I must go and tell Sooty! Sooty, there's a black hand! <laughs> Stop the clock before the semolina goes splat. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep hitting it like that. You'll make it go off and it's still ticking. I'll cut the pink wire. If you want to know what happens, don't miss our next exciting episode. Bug a burglar. <laughs> You can't wait to find out what happens, can you? Well, you just have to do. But in the meantime, we're going to find out right now who this week's special guest artist is. Let's go across to Colin the Computer's memory bank to find out. Memory bank. Memory bank. Jack is a very special guest. Mr. Crisco. Mr. Crisco. Mr. Crisco. <laughs>
Right. Go on then, right home. And we've got Gregory chosen out of the audience to help me. So, Gregory, I tell you, oh, did you know you had these cards around your head? Did you know? Good gracious me, look at that. I tell you what, even Sooty needs a magic wand in the show, and this is my magic wand. Hold on to it, hold on to it. No, Oh, I don't know. We'll have to do at least one trick, right, won't we? So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do the one with the cards, and I'm going to put one card over there and the rest in there like that. And I want you, Gregory, to blow very hard at the cards. Right. Let's see what's happened. Ooh. Can you see what's happened? They've gone smaller, have they? Yes! And they're only, what, half their size? Good gracious me. Do you want them smaller? All right then, Gregory, have a hard blow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, do you want to see them? Yeah. Yeah, you want them smaller, do you? Yeah. What, smaller than that? Yeah. Smaller than this? Yeah. Good gracious. Well, go on, have a go, Gregory. <laughs> yeah, no. One more blow. No. Oh, he's run out of path. Oh, do you want to see them? Yeah. What, smaller than that? Smaller than that? Yeah. Well, I think he's jolly good getting into that size, but have a go. Good, no. One more blow. Oh, I'll get down. Oh, no. One more. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, no, not smaller than that, surely. Well, you all better blow, all blow up my hand. What a wind. Oh, you made them disappear. Good gracious. Well, I tell you what, Gregory should have something, I think, as a little present. I'll tell you what, I hope none of you ever play with matches, because magicians can do that, because they do things like this, you see. Oh, you see. Well, that's dangerous, but you have to practice. But I tell you what, a magician can always use magic. So watch, boys and girls. Alley up! Smash in. And he goes out. And let's see. And a bunch of flowers for you. Give a nice big clap to Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Thank you, Mr. Crisco. Hey, you know, the other night, Sooty had this amazing dream. And he told me all about it. Do you know what he dreamt? He dreamt that he went off to sea in a deep sea trawler. The only problem was somebody that we know missed the boat. Can you guess who it was? Sweet. You got it. Let's go across and see what happened in Sooty's dream, shall we? <coughs> Poor old Sweet was in the drink. But you can't keep a good dog down. He just had to catch that boat. So, taking a deep breath, he started to swim. His old shipmate Sooty was there, waiting to rescue him. And he soon had our brave dog aboard. They were so happy to be together again, they decided to have a little bit of music to celebrate. So the captain got his concertina. They felt much better after that, but now Captain Sooty had to go into the wheelhouse to check his navigation charts. Sweep decided to do a bit of fishing. He hadn't long to wait because they were sailing through a shoal of sausages. And with his first cast, he got half a pound of his favourite food. It wasn't long before he had another bite. What had he caught now? A sea serpent? Hey, what do they think that's doing? I can't have a bit of peace even in the middle of North Sea. I was just thinking to be sent. I shan't be seeing young two numbskulls around here, and I get a flipping hook in me chops. 
You've got barnacles on brain, if you ask me. But, hey, here you are. Go on. Sweep was feeling a bit tired, so he put down his rod for a minute and leaned on the side for a rest. And guess what came up to play with him then? A baby seal! That was very sweet, but something not so sweet had crept aboard from the other side of the boat and climbed right up on top of the wheelhouse. An octopus! Having had a look around up there, it then came down to investigate. Now poor old Sweet really was in trouble. He couldn't bite off that big old octopus, but our brave Captain Sooty could, and he came to the rescue. Well, they got out of that trouble all right, but there was bigger trouble coming up. A gale warning on the radio. Attention all shipping, attention all shipping. Gale force 10 imminent in Sierra's Doggy Bank, Cromarty, Sutteries and Sweeperies. Gale force 10 imminent in Sierra's Doggy Bank, Cromarty's, Sutteries and Sweeperies. and decided to fire his distress signal. Would our brave seafarers perish at sea? Could anyone save them and rescue them from this raging tempest? Yes, it's Sooty's dream fairy queen, Sue. <laughs> Fear not, Sooty. Fear not, Sweet. I shall save you from the deep. You shall not come to any harm. For now, I bid the sea be calm. Mm -hmm. 